Kremlin, an international company doing business on a worldwide scale. In North America alone, Kremlin has more than 80 distributors who supply a full line of spray finishing equipment. Our product line includes both manual and automatic spray guns, paint pumps, two component mixing equipment, and a wide variety of finishing accessories. Our air mix electrostatic spray guns are the best on the market. Industries currently benefiting from air mix electrostatics are manufacturers of farm machinery, trucks, buses, manufacturing and construction machinery, and any metal product. Painters who are trained in electrostatic technology have experienced greater financial success. They are in high demand, while companies have also benefited from using electrostatic technology and continue using it to reduce their operating costs. Other companies may have tried the older electrostatic technology but do not realize the advancements that have been made today and the tremendous value it now can offer to save companies time and money. Electrostatic equipment has come a long way over the past 10 years. The equipment is now rugged, the guns are lighter, and although they are made of plastic, they can withstand more abuse. You, the painter, remain the most important factor to ensure the success of electrostatic equipment. When you're comfortable using the equipment and know how to maintain it, you and your company will realize the outstanding benefits of this innovative technology. The transition from any spray equipment to the advanced technology of Kremlin's Airmix electrostatics may not seem easy, but the rewards make the transition worthwhile. Our goal is to give you the knowledge and the comfort level to successfully convert to the air mix electrostatic technology. Electrostatic painting works by creating a negatively charged field in front of the spray gun. The paint particles accept this charge as they pass through the field and are attracted to the grounded workpiece, increasing the transfer efficiency. The attraction that is created is so strong the paint particles actually change direction and coat the back of the workpiece. This wrap-around effect is what makes Airmix electrostatic so different. It is the only manual production spray gun that can deliver a high volume of finely atomized paint particles at an extremely low speed, delivering the most efficient manual production gun in the world. Paint savings and improved productivity are the most important reasons for using Airmix electrostatic spray guns. Kremlin customers see a reduction in paint consumption by 20 to 60 percent. Raglan Industries has increased their productivity and reduced their paint consumption by 40 percent using a Kremlin KMX electrostatic system. Notice the wasted overspray of paint the Tennessee River tank manufacturing is experiencing while spraying without electrostatics turned on, while here we see the same piece with the same settings only the electrostatics are turned on. This means a faster paint job with a higher quality finish using less paint. The wraparound effect reduces the number of passes the operator must make, increasing productivity and delivering better results in less time. Our system offers improved edge coverage since sharp edges attract charged paint particles easier than flat surfaces. Electrostatics improves the coating thickness of sharp edges where corrosion tends to attack first. Supplying a cleaner spraying environment by using electrostatic equipment is yet another benefit. More paint on the product, less in the booth, less on the painter equals a more pleasant painting atmosphere. This cleaner environment is most important when inside enclosures are painted. The paint bounces back onto the painter when using conventional HVLP or even air spray electrostatics. When using air mix electrostatics, very little bounce back occurs. This cleaner environment helps improve the finish quality through finer paint particles creating a more uniform coating. Reduce booth cleaning. Reduce sludge removal in a water wash spray booth. Reduce the amount of filter changes. Improve the air the operator breathes. Getting the electrostatic system started requires the STD-9 power supply, the KMX-3 spray gun, the paint supply pump, the paint pump super filter. The KMX-3 spray gun controls the atomizing air 
the fluid supply, and the electrostatic charge. The spray gun converts the low voltage signal from the power supply into a high voltage electrostatic charge. The adjustments of the spray gun are the fan adjustment knob, the on-off electrostatic switch, and the trigger lock knob. The connections that feed the spray gun are a paint hose, an atomizing air hose, and a low voltage cable. Power to the gun is supplied by the STD-9 power supply. The STD-9 must be located outside the spraying environment. The STD-9 power supply converts the 110 volt AC to a low voltage signal that the gun uses to generate the electrostatic energy. Includes a safety circuit that reduces the voltage as the spray gun approaches a grounded workpiece. Automatically turns on and off the electrostatic power when the gun is triggered. The power supply controls are the on-off switch and the voltage adjustment knob. Connections to the power supply are an incoming 110 volt power cord properly grounding the pin to a grounded outlet. A grounding wire for connecting to a solid ground, usually the paint booth itself. A low voltage cable to the gun. An atomizing air hose. An air inlet hose. The paint pump's job is to deliver the proper amount of paint at the correct pressure. The controls on the paint pump are a red handle air regulator for fluid pressure and a gray handle regulator for atomizing air. The connections to the paint pump are a fluid outlet hose, a fluid drain valve, an atomizing air outlet hose, a paint suction rod and hose, and an air supply hose. The paint filter is an often overlooked but very important component to a successful air mix electrostatic system. The paint filter prevents dirt from reaching the tip where plugging can occur. Addressing safety issues is of the utmost importance prior to beginning the painting process. Electrostatic equipment is safe when properly operated and safety procedures are followed. Most importantly, all items must be grounded. The spray booth the conveyor, the workpiece, the workpiece hangers, the gun and pump, unless using waterborne coatings, the paint container, the power supply, all objects in the spray area, and even the spray operator. If all components are not grounded, electrical charges may eventually build up enough charge that if ungrounded items come within sparking distance of a ground, it can discharge a spark. These sparks may have enough energy to ignite the flammable vapors in the spray area. The painters must be grounded by two different methods. They must have skin contact with a gun handle and be grounded through their feet. Ungrounded workers will be unaware that a charge is building up in their bodies. By using special grounding devices or leather soled shoes, the operator is grounded through the concrete floor. If gloves are used, they require cutouts for the index finger and the palms allowing for good skin contact with the grounding gun handle. Workpiece hangers require a regular cleaning inspection to ensure that the hangers have a direct metal-to-metal -metal contact with the workpiece. If the workpieces are too large to hang on the conveyor, a separate ground wire must be used. Additional safety factors are not covering the floor with cardboard or any insulating material. This ensures the operator's shoes are in direct contact with the floor. Any flammable liquids in the spray area must be kept in approved and grounded containers. Do not place the containers on a non-conductive surface such as cardboard or paper. Using only non-sparking tools to clean residue from the spray booth. Never turning the electrostatic gun on when it contains a cleaning solvent making sure fire extinguishing equipment meets local code and is easily accessible to the operator. A dirty gun will not perform effectively. Covering the spray gun with a Kremlin gun cover is the final step before we start the system and begin the painting process. Fill the system with paint. Adjust the fluid pressure. Adjust the atomizing air pressure. Adjust the fan air. Select the correct tip 
and turn on the electrostatic power. Filling the system with paint requires the following steps. Turn the gun and pump regulators counterclockwise to ensure zero pressure when main compressed air feed is turned on. Remove the air cap and tip from the gun. Check the condition of the O-ring. Replace if necessary. Turn on the main air supply valve. Insert the suction rod with the suction strainer attached into the grounded paint container. Turn the safety knob assembly counterclockwise to release the trigger. Start the pump by turning the red handle regulator clockwise to add air pressure to the pump. Do not overrun the pump. The pump will start to cycle. With the voltage off, pull the trigger and direct the spray gun into a grounded waste container. Adjust the air to the pump. Any previous solvent or paint will be dispensed and the new material will begin to flow out of the spray gun. Release the trigger. Check the gun for any leaks. Aim and pull the trigger of the gun into the paint container until there is no air left in the line. The adjustment of the fluid pressure depends on the viscosity or temperature of the paint. The flow rate will be determined by the tip size selected at startup. Install the air cap and proper sized tip. A good tip o-ring must be in place. Tighten the retaining ring until the air cap is secured and does not rotate. If not, the paint will leak past the tip o-ring and back up into the passages of the spray gun. Spraying test patterns on cardboard will show you the tails on each end of the spray pattern. Increase the gray knob regulator until the tails disappear. Do not raise the pressure higher than required to eliminate the tails. The KMX spray gun comes with a fan adjustment knob located on the side of the gun. The KX-16 adjustable fan air cap allows you to adjust the fan size using this knob. Turn the knob clockwise to increase the fan size and counterclockwise to decrease it. If only the wide fan is desired, the optional KX-116 air cap is available. Kremlin tips come in a variety of sizes for different flow rates and pattern sizes. Once the correct tip size is chosen, there should be no reason for future size adjustments unless the paint characteristics change. A Kremlin equipment supplier can assist you in selecting a proper tip. To start the electrostatic system, turn the STD9 power supply box switch to the on position. The green power LED and the green test LED will be on. Turn the voltage adjustment knob clockwise to the full 85 kV position. Turn the spray gun on-off switch to the on position. Trigger the gun to release the atomized air only. The green power LED and the yellow and red LEDs will be on. Proper spraying techniques vary with the object and surface you are spraying. A common incorrect technique involves the operators swinging their wrists back and forth. It gives the illusion of speeding up the coating operation but in reality, it is slower and much more inefficient, resulting in light films on ends, excessive film at the center, and more overspray. The gun should be maintained in right angle positions to the workpiece and move in a parallel path. When applying the finish coat, if held too close, the finish may run and sag. If held too far from the workpiece, the electrostatic attraction is decreased and the spray can become dry. An 8 to 12 inch distance is ideal. Knowing that both the workpiece and the operator are grounded, both can attract paint particles. To prevent the wrap back of getting paint on yourself, always keep the gun air cap closer to the part than to your body. To achieve the best hiding and uniformity of film thickness, the stroke overlap should be approximately 50%. There should be some overlap at the top and bottom of the workpiece to increase edge coverage. Triggering the on and off depends largely on the amount of wraparound effect required. Stopping the trigger a few inches inside the workpiece will give little or no wraparound and incomplete coverage. Stopping at the edge will give some wrap. Stopping a few inches past the edge will get more wrap on the sides. Stopping far past the edge a heavy and excessive wasteful overspray will occur. 
When spraying large work pieces that are wider than the painter's reach, coat them in sections that the painter can comfortably reach. Each area should be blended with the next area using feathering or overlapping strokes. Tubular shaped products can be successfully coated from one side, fully utilizing the proper wraparound technique. Selecting a fan width slightly wider than the tube will allow for paint to wrap to the back of the tube. Angling the gun can further reduce the forward velocity of the paint particles. The hanger design is extremely important. An improper design will actually draw paint away from the workpiece. Coating recessed areas with paint is the most difficult using electrostatics. Leading edges or protrusions will attract the charged paint, thereby allowing less paint to enter into a recessed area. The best technique for coating the recessed area is to coat these areas first. Point the gun four to six inches away. The KMX-3 spray gun automatically lowers the voltage on the gun to permit the particles to coat these recessed areas. In very difficult areas, turn the on-off switch located on the back of the gun to the off position and spray these areas without using the electrostatics. Turn the electrostatic switch back on and finish the process by coating the rest of the workpiece at the usual spray distance, letting the wraparound effect do the easy areas for you. When you're ready to shut down the system, two steps are involved, flushing the equipment and cleaning the equipment. When using two component paint, you may need to perform these functions more frequently. Flushing the equipment requires turning off the power switch on the gun and on the power supply, turning off the atomizing and pump air, turning off the main air supply valve, turning the trigger lock knob clockwise to lock the gun trigger, removing the tip and air cap, setting these pieces aside. Turning the trigger lock knob, the gun will require very little cleaning. Using the specially designed gun wrench, remove the gun filter housing and clean it with a soft brush and cleaning solvent. Then reassemble the gun by tightening the filter housing back onto the filter frame. Clean the superfilter following these steps. Open the fluid drain valve on the bottom of the superfilter. Using the superfilter wrench, remove the large retaining nut and filter bowl. Remove the filter screen and spring, immersing them in the cleaning solvent. Brush them until clean. Blow off the excess solvent with compressed air. Place the spring back into the filter bowl. Mount the screen into the filter body. Reinstall the filter bowl with the retaining nut and tighten it with the super filter wrench. With a soft Kremlin brush, clean the air cap, tip, and retaining ring. Be very gentle with the electrode wire. If the wire is bent, simply bend it back into position. Inspect the condition of the tip O-ring. If the O-ring is dirty or worn, replace it. The tip O-ring must be replaced weekly. Blow out the tip and the air cap. When using the KX-16 Fan Adjust Air Cap, inspect the O-ring on the front for any wear. Replace it if necessary. Install the air cap and tip back onto the gun. Hang the gun with the barrel facing downward. This completes the easy cleanup procedure. There is a complete troubleshooting guide in the equipment manual to assist you with any problems that you may encounter. Once you become familiar, comfortable, and knowledgeable about electrostatic painting, well, you'll never want to use any other form of painting technology. While the process we fully described may seem new and difficult, it'll take no time at all for you, the painter or operator, to master these techniques. It'll not only help your company and their productivity, paint savings, and in getting better coverage, but you too can greatly benefit by learning and having these advanced technological skills to further your career and abilities. It's a win-win situation from all aspects. A successful electrostatic application is achieved by developing good operating habits. The knowledge you will gain will make you a true craftsman in your field. 
If you need additional assistance or information, please contact your Kremlin representative or call Kremlin Incorporated for the name of a representative near you.